Hi, are we heading towards bubble trouble? No, I'm not talking about these type of bubbles. I get asked almost every day if we're headed towards a real estate bubble similar to 2007. So let's look at the ingredients of a bubble. I'm not talking about this type of bubble. For this type of bubble, all you need is hot air. And we know whether you watch Fox News or CNN, there's plenty of that going around. The ingredients of a real estate bubble. Start with high inventory. Did you know in 2007, Livermore had almost 300 homes for sale on the market? Add in a sputtering economy. Right back then, we were headed towards a recession. Unemployment was high and gas was over $4 a gallon. And then finally, back then, there were stated income loans, otherwise known as liar loans, that a lot of buyers took advantage of to get into homes that they really couldn't afford. And so when the housing market dipped a little, they had balloon payments due, and suddenly they were in way over their heads. Let's compare that to today. Today we have about 100 homes for sale on the market, and when you look at the last two months, you can see we've had, we've had 74 sales year-to-date in Livermore versus 73 a year ago. The average list price was 901000 and the average sales price was 897000 in 2019. 2018, the average list price was 856 at this point of the year, and the average sales price was 875. So when you look at the numbers, we have actually had an increase so far year to date. The perception is that the market has dipped, but that's because sellers are not getting as much as they had hoped for. But in reality, we're still $22,000 above where we were on average last year. So let's look at, at the other parts of it. We have a robust economy right now. It's still doing well. Silicon Valley is booming and unemployment is very low. And finally, while buyers can get a loan for as little as 3% down, most of them are putting more down and most of them are getting fixed rate loans. So if the market does dip, they'll be fine. That's why true experts, and I'm not talking to real estate agents, but economists and so forth, believe the housing market is gonna be flat to increasing slightly for the next several years. And so what does that mean to you? If you're a buyer, it means now is a fine time to buy as long as you plan on being in the home for five to seven years. And if you're a seller, it's not a bad time to sell either as long as you don't overprice your home. Today's buyers are not going to put up with that. They're too smart. So if you have any questions, give me a holler. holler Will Bateson, Sidewalk Homes, 925-784-9463.